could have been sitting next to me at the Thanksgiving table, but um, his, his plate was empty and, and so was my heart. One week before Thanksgiving, Sharice Abbott Holder abruptly lost her husband. I'm 42. I did not um, imagine being a widow at 42. 46 year old Johan Holder died on November 18th from pneumonia as a result of contracting coronavirus. Once COVID-19 hit him, hit him hard. Johan had pre-existing conditions, hypertension, sleep apnea, and he was overweight. Still, his sudden death, a complete shock to the system for his wife. My husband was a big ball of fun. Love people, love to eat, love to go places. Everybody loved Johan. He was just a big old teddy bear. Johan complained that he couldn't breathe on the morning of November 18th. Sharice was at work and at the time the couple was actually separated. Johan was rushed here to Chesapeake Regional Medical Center where he collapsed before even hitting the stretcher. He died hours later. No one was with them at the time and I didn't know because I got the, the call. I returned the calls at 7 p.m. that night. Now she's working to honor her husband's memory. I'm here at the river and I release these uh, rose petals in memory of um, Johan Holder. A life taken too soon, another victim of a virus that doesn't discriminate. Know your status, wear your mask, wash your hands, um, and keep the social distance distancing going um, because it is real. It's no joke. In Chesapeake, Chelsea Donovan, News 3.